episode 107, y'all. How do you expect? How do you expect to bop your head if you, if you don't want your headphones to pop off? How do you do it? How do they? How does the? How do the professionals rock and roll, rock and roll, <laughs> and not have their headphones fly off their head? So, 107. Here's the uh, here's the here's the card. It's tradition around here to show you it, but it's not tradition to show you what's on it. But you'll find out because I'll talk about it. Maybe, maybe not. Um, you want to hear something funny? I just recorded this episode about five, six hours ago, maybe. Maybe not. Four hours ago. I don't remember when. Earlier in today, though, I tried to record this. It did not turn out well at all. Uh, super bland. Gloom city. Um... We're not looking for that around here. We're looking for Shroom City. You know what I'm saying? Because we've got the mushrooms. Um, so I've decided, and this is, the, I don't know, I haven't done this a lot. But I decided, you know, I was like, I'm going to scrap this episode. Threw it in the dumpster. Pissed on it. Shit on it. Gasolined on it. I can vomit gas. And then I lit it on fire. <clears throat> is this computer in the way? What about now? Um, so here's here's we got some shits to talk about before we jump into anything here. Um, we're gonna have to make some changes once again to the dig to the dynamite gizmo podcast. Okay, make some tame changes. Changes. Change, change, okay. Um, pretty well every video. The last, I don't know. Thirty episodes have all been copyright claimed, demonetized. Um, now you know that's not a strike against the channel. It's nothing to really be concerned about, other than the fact that you won't make any money on those videos. And yes, I know that even still, YouTube has the new policy that, uh, you know, we went over it already. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Ronald Reagan is a friend of mine. Oh, I've got a button I can open Twitter with. Check this out. See, I pressed a button. Boop goes the Twitter. Now, um, well, who, who was it? A YouTube... YouTube! I gotta show you the tweet that they tweeted. If it was on this channel, I might... Or whatever, not channel. No, it would have been... Ah, damn it, I don't remember. Who would have tweeted it? Cock in the sucker. <laughs> Did I retweet it or something? Something I should have retweeted if I didn't. What is that? Oh, yeah. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's see if I... I got, I'm going to do... I'm going to do one more quick little search here. See, I wasn't planning on talking about this, okay? And I don't have someone else to fucking Google shit for me. So here we go. I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it like real quick here. Probably going to forget what I was talking about by the time I find it. Yeah, I ain't going to find it. There's no way. My eyes are hurting watching this screen scroll. Yeah, I ain't going to find this shit. Okay, so doesn't matter. Um, see, I told you. We're talking about YouTube demonetization, right? So, where was I? 
Yeah, they put out the the tweet, the saying that yeah, guess what, people. Um, clips less than a few seconds of music content or uh, music accidentally entering a video, you know, they can still claim that shit, but they just won't get the money for it. Um, but you know what? I'm showing clips of people's videos in my videos. I'm still getting demonetized and claimed for it. And, you know, the only way to actually utilize that new policy that they have is if I only showed, like, a five-second clip of everything. Because, you know, I'm showing the whole... I want to show the whole thing. I'm also a super small creator on the platform, so I have no say. You know, I can't just, like, make things happen. Not yet, anyway. Or maybe I'm not trying hard enough. Either way, uh, I'm not the only one who's getting demonetized. Like, even Ethan and Joe Rogan, Rick Beato, like, these big influencers still get demonetized by showing other people's shit. It doesn't just apply to music. It applies to just videos. Like, my the last... My last episode got claimed from David Dobrik or whatever the fuck that guy's name is because I showed his video in my podcast. He claimed me. So, well, not him personally, but like his, you know, he's probably part of some claiming farm or some shit. And they got a, they got the claim on my boot. They were like, oh, look, you made it easy for us. You put him in the hashtags. In the tags, and the description, and in the thumbnail. <laughs> you made it easy for us. Well, I mean, I would have, you know, you wouldn't think it would be that easy to get claimed, and it wasn't back in the day. But now, like as soon as your video is uploaded, it's claimed. That's how quick it is. I get the notification once my, like... You know, I'm watching my video, it's processing, process 99%, 100%, boom, get an email. Your video has been claimed. That's how quick it is. So, you can't avoid it. So, I gotta play by the rules, I guess. Give me that beach ball. I'll inflate it for you. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Why are you asking? You know what's a good idea? You know what's going to be a new segment on this piece of junk podcast? It's going to be me going online and finding new sound bites for my stream deck. Since I can't show video clips anymore. I mean, we're just basically going back to the roots of this podcast. The roots there by <laughs> the roots of this podcast. Um, you know, I never showed clips in the majority of my podcasts. I just started it recently and I was enjoying it, but that's gone. So I can still talk about the viral sensations. And the shitty thing is I can't even do Reddit anymore. Like that was, that was just a nice little end off, you know, to just kind of scroll through Reddit. But that's really when all this demonetization started happening is when I started doing the Reddit shit. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. I had a fucking bloody nose this morning. I woke up and I went into the bathroom to take a shit and like I felt it felt like my nose was running with like just boogers. You know, like wet slimy cold boogers when you got a cold. And so I wiped with my left hand and I was like, oh that is red. That's not blue boogers. That's bloogers, because there was boogers and blood, <laughs> and hair. It was not, it was gross, actually. Um, if there's one thing I wouldn't eat, it'd be what was on my hand this morning. And so I grabbed some TP, as the children are saying nowadays, and I wiped my hand. It was only my left nostril that was bleeding. It was bleeding a lot. So I shoved some toilet paper up there, and it soaked. Turned, went from white to red, pulled it out, 
grabbed a new strain, shoved it up, same thing. You know, I did that a few times, and then I was cooking break fast, and then I was like, "Uh uh-oh, I've got a sneeze, and I still don't, and then I could still, still kind of felt like there was blood floating around up in there, because I didn't want to shove the Kleenex all the way the fuck up to my brain. So, I sneezed, and I was like, duh, that was not fun, because I knew stuff came out, and stuff did come out, it was like a, a I'm going to puke, it was like a wad of booger, came out my left nostril, but it was bloody as well, it didn't come out all the way, (laughs) it didn't come out all the way, so I had to rip it the rest of the way out, and it was such a huge snot, bloody mess, ugh. Yeah. What the fuck was I going to Google? I don't remember. Ah! Oh, yeah. I was going to find a new sound for the stream deck. But what was the sound? Mm, Fuck, I can't remember. Oh, well. You snooze, you lose, right? Cocker doodle do. So basically what I'm trying to say here is, uh, you know, I've made a few episodes of this podcast that were kind of focused around depression and the fact that I have it. <laughs> and so when I do the, record those episodes in that state... I, uh, you know, watch them back and it's like, this is boring. This is boring. And although I'm just getting a message across and talking about stuff, I still would rather just produce content that is entertaining at least. Not in a sappy, sad, gloom bucket way. So, rather than just uploading the gloom bucket of a trash piece of shit, I wait, let time do its thing, watch some podcasts, or maybe a Stanley Kubrick movie, which I did today. It wasn't a a Stanley Kubrick movie, it was a movie about him and his assistant named uh, Leon something, or... Well, yeah, I don't even, the, the, the film is called The Film Worker. Okay, it's on Schmetflix. Netflix. Los, po- Los Polos Hermanos. I wore this shirt when I went to see Vince Gilligan live in Vacnoover. Good old Vincey boy. Vince Gilligan from Gilligan's Island. Nope. Nope, not the same one. Different Gilligan. This Vince Gilligan created a wonderful masterpiece of a television show. What was it called? You know it. Barking Bert. Breaking Bad. Otherwise known as. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, Frankie, F- uh, that just reminded me, Frankie McDonald, remember Frankie McDonald? This is a test right here. This is a test. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show a Frankie McDonald clip, and if that gets claimed, I'll be very fucking surprised. Okay, so Frankie McDonald, who's Frankie McDonald? If you don't know who Frankie McDonald is by now... You are, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're missing out. Anyway, this guy, he is, a, he's from and still lives in my original hometown. Sydney, Nova Scotia, okay? Small island on the edge of Nova Scotia called Cape Breton Island. This guy lived in my hometown. I knew him way before this whole viral sensation that he's you know, gone on, 
He's still growing in popularity. Still not where he could be. He's only had 200,000 subscribers, but he could have a lot more. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, he's... Uh, so, you know... He's not... He No, he's not like... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Just the guy is famous for who he is and what he does and how he does it. And anyway, he's been doing this stuff long before even YouTube existed. I knew him way back then. He was he was popular all over the city just for being himself. And he would always hang out at the mall. He probably still does to this day. That's how everyone knew him because he was always at the mall and he was just being himself. So anyway, he was featured on Tom Segura and Christina P's podcast, Your Mom House, a while ago. But then he was featured again recently, <laughs> shown to Anthony Jeselnik. And it's so crazy how far of a reach Frankie McDonald is, is receiving now. Like, Anthony Jeselnik saw Frankie McDonald. So I'm just going to show two of what he is. Two. Okay, so he's known for doing mostly the weather reports. So here's his most recent one. Literally an hour ago, he posted this shit. It's titled... This da -da -da -da. Don't start yet, Frankie. It's called Major Storm to Hit Northern Manitoba on Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. And here he is. Are you ready? This is Frankie McDowell, my old TV station live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Major storm is headed towards Northern Manitoba on Tuesday, August the 27th, 2019. It's going to bring a lot of rain in very windy conditions, including Churchill, Must Manitoba, York Factory, Manitoba, and Northern Manitoba. And it's Uh-oh. Surrounding communities as well is going to bring a lot of rain. It's going to bring very windy conditions. Okay, so you get the idea. He does that the whole video. He used to, he used to be more um, outgoing, though. He used to have this one little catchphrase where he'd go, Attention! Northern Manitoba! Or whatever the fuck he was talking about. He doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> and then he also does shit like this. This video is titled "Guy t tries to eat." Twenty more hot dogs. dogs! <laughs> Who's eating hot dogs? <laughs> and I've shown this on the podcast already, but I'll show him again, and I'll show him again. I don't care. I'll promote this guy for as long as I live. Did we both come from the same place? First comment. I clicked on this video expecting a guy to actually try to eat 50 hot dogs. The video turned out to be way better than I thought. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I probably read that last time I showed it as well. Hallelujah. Am I right? I don't even know why we got onto the topic. Of Frankie, but we did. So he was on. He was on your mom's house once again. He's making strides here. He may have been on it another time, and I just missed it. Oh, I should get a Frankie McDonald sound bite. What the hell am I doing? That's a good idea right there. Oh my Jesus! But which one should I get? Let's see. Hey, let me go to his channel and s find and sort his video by popular uploads. Because that hot dog one was the most popular. Storm in South Dakota. This is Frankie McDowell, my own TV station, live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Major storm is heading for South Dakota on Friday, October the 4th, 2013. It's it's going to bring up to 30 plus millimeters of rain. The rain will fall sideways. The winds are going to be very strong in South Dakota. How does he figure this shit out? Why has no one asked him that? 
<laughs> you know? Like, where's he getting his, 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 his... I'm not saying he's not true. I don't think he ever is, though. But... <laughs> but, how, like, how does he know all this? Does he just look at other news networks? There was a there was a news reporter in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Her name was Cindy Day. Most stereotypical weather girl name ever, but that was her name. And she called him out once saying he was like a, a phony or some shit, and people attacked the hell out of her. But anyway, I wonder if this is a good sound bite. This is Frankie McDowell, my own TV station live. I think we can find a better one. I don't want to just jump the gun, but then we could just be looking forever. Guy dancing than being chased by tigers. Two years ago, three years ago. Hmm. Let's be prepared. Okay, guys, slash dudes and sign of old Frankie McDowell. I am Frankie McDonald, the weather man. I do my broadcast tour, especially in the winter months. If it's a big storm, snowstorm, headed their way. I warn those people to get them prepared. And if there's a snowstorm, headed away. Cause. Well, someone did interview him. Well, is this a good soundbite? Okay, guys, slash dudes and sign of old Frankie McDonald. I am Frankie McDonald, the weather man. I do my broadcast tour, especially in the winter months. If <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even flow properly. Frankie McDowell. Oh, I can't even do a sound bite because I'm already recording. Uh, uh, idiot. <sighs> I'll just do it later then. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. Thanks. I preach. Appreciate and meditate. Am I gonna have to put Frankie McDonald in the thumbnail? Frankie McDildo. Whoops, don't say that. Get yourself in trouble, my friend. I'm so glad I re recorded this episode. God damn it. The last ep, like the one I did this morning, was so bad. It was horrible, horrible. It was like that bad. Wow, that was kind of that was kind of cheesy right there. It was more like this. There we go. The Krikenheimers. That's full blast too. Yeah, 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 what, well, yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah. Did I show you the new squeak? I don't even know. I fixed the squeak. Um, I don't really, ha I don't have anything new. I should have, should have got something new, but I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna puke all over you. Ah. So I guess I wrote Stanley Kubrick on the fucking card this morning. And I just kind of brushed by him a few sentences ago. Is it too loud? Janice, is it too loud? Who's Janice? Well, according to my level thing in my squigger, it's not too loud. So what are you talking about? I'm pretending like there's someone listening. I'm still noticing static in the background. Is that because this is a shit microphone? Or am I doing something wrong? How about Janice? Ha no, Jan how about Janice shuts her mouth before I fire Janice? That's right, Janice. I got something. Since we can't show video ups gazes. Since we can't show video clips anymore. This is this is a throwback. Am I 
you gonna reach it? Oh my god, am I gonna reach it? Don't move the table, I swear to god. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Roll back. Roll back. Roll back. Now I know what you're thinking. It can't be that hard to do what you just did. Well, it, it, re it kind of isn't, but it kind of is. Because for one, you can't tell, but this section of the room I'm in is so tiny and compact right now. I have about two feet of a gap between this table and what's behind me. No, it's a bit more than that. But it's, I'm in the corner. So, I mean, you, you, if to you it looks flat, because I fucked around for a bit to make it look flat. <laughs> but for me, I'm in this tight, squeezy pajamas. And it's like a confined space pretty well. And if I move the table, it fucks everything up. Why does it sound so weird, Janice? What's going on with the mic? Janice? Hello? Janice, don't tell me it was like that the whole fucking time. I swear to God, Janice. Why can't I hear myself, Janice? Now I can. That's because I turned it all the way to direct. I want to have it in between. So if I have to listen to... The fucking fuck around, fuck me. But I guess I'll just have to turn it back then, Janice. Do I gotta do everything, Janice? So what did I do when I went over there? Um, I reached over and I grabbed this. You like it? Well, you shouldn't because it's uh, the back of it. It's a picture frame. There's a picture in the picture frame. Um... I could just smash it right now. That's how much I hate it. No, I don't. But what I did earlier in this podcast is I sat this picture frame in the background backwards, purposefully, up against the wall. And I said to the audience, that doesn't exist. Can you guess what is on this pickler picture? On this picker? Guess what's on this picker? And then if you guess correctly, I'll flip it around and I will fucking send you the picture along with one million dollars. Whoops, I flipped it. <laughs> uh, I was going to try to fuck around and say, uh, guess it, but I flipped it around, so now you know. It's a fucking wolf. Yeah, I'm a little baked right now. Sue me. I literally was going to tell that story. And <laughs> and then I was going to be like, so if you can guess this, I'll do the same. I was not, But I was just joking about the million dollars. But there would have been some sort of incentive to guess what it was. And now it's fucking flushed down the toilet. Because I showed you the wolf. It's not a bad picture, actually. Well, probably from your angle, it's not a bad picture. But if from this angle, it looks like... It was printed out of a printer, and it's very low resolution, super pixely. So you would have been receiving a piece of junk. So maybe it was better off this way. Ah. That's why I want to punch it so bad. I don't want to punch anything. OK, come on. Come on. That's what I'm lo that's what I'm talking about, Sally. Sally. There's a lot of there's a lot of fucking microphone noises, Sally. I can't remember the girl's name. Oh my god, that's loud. Why is it so loud? You like ASMR? <laughs> I laid it. Never used it. Tried it. It's kind of interesting, but it's not my cup of cake. 
It's not my tea of taste. It's 420. It's 420. You know, I don't get excited about 420 like I used to. If this was a year, maybe two years ago, year and a half ago, and if I happened to look at the clock right when I did and I said, oh shit, it's 420, I would drop my headphones, go grab a bong, and take a big fat rippity ripe. But now it's just like, eh, I occasionally do it. It doesn't uh, affect me like it used to. Well, it still affects me the same. Like, I still get the same. Ha! (laughs) Motherfucker! But (laughs) I don't get as high as I used to. And I just kind of, you know, casually do it when I feel like it now. It used to be an air day, all day thing. Now it's not. Do you care? Nope. Why am I telling you? Because I said so. You know what else I did? I went grocery shopping yesterday. Guess what I bought? Some Zappums. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Last episode I talked about Zappums. But I, w- I did think about it. I went to the frozen food aisle on purpose just to see if they were in there. And they still exist. And they were definitely in there. And the packaging still looks the same, which is nice. But I'm sure that won't last for long. Either they're going to leave the shelf or they're going to stay and change the way they look. Because that's how it always goes as you get older. Like, you remember Dunkaroos? Why? Whose idea was it to stop making Dunkaroos? I mean, come on. Right? Right? That shit was classic. It was a unique, one-of-a-kind snack. You take a cookie and some frosting, and you put it in this neat container where the frosting is in like a inverse titty with no nipple. It's all, And then the, cr- the cookies are in like a trough. And you take the cookie and dip it into the titty. And there were black cookies and white cookies. And white frosting with little rainbow sprinkles. And then there was chocolate frosting and just straight vanilla frosting. And then what else was there? I don't know, but then there was like chocolate chip cookies, which was the white cookie, I guess, that I mentioned earlier. I don't know, there was just straight like the cookie with no chocolate chip, and then there was the chocolate chip. Why am I talking about Dunk? Why am I talking about this shit? I always go off on fucking classic junk food I'm like a fat fuck. I mean, come on. Huh? Talk about what's on the list. I'm not, you know, we're going to talk about Stanley Kubrick, but. (sighs) You know, when I'm in like a, I was in a depressive mood this morning, as I mentioned, and I was watching, I was, I I wasn't focusing my full attention on the documentary. But I was like, I'd say I was about 95% in. There's like 5% of me that wasn't in. So I was mostly in, and you know what? It didn't, like, impact me, the documentary, like some do. Some I watch, and I'm like, wow, and I feel great leaving the documentary. And I want want to learn more about the subject. But this one I didn't. And it might have been because of the mood I was in, but I don't know. I'll have to watch it again. I've got other Stanley Kubrick related documentaries to watch so i'll check those out as well bitch you can't tell me what to do now i just can't stop thinking about dunkaroos i believe i can fly i believe i can touch the sky I think about it every night and day. 
I spread my cheeks and spray away. Hey, I've got diarrhea. You heard that version? Why don't we keep the topic on the depression scale for a little bit and talk about Booby Lee, the boobnator, the comic of the comedians. What? He, well, recently his papa passed away. His faja. You know what I'm saying. His father, gosh, um, and I don't. I'm just. I don't. I just wanted to bring it up, just to talk about it, because Bobby's an interesting character. He, for his whole his whole life growing up, he resented his father, because he was a raging alcoholic and and violent, and I'm pretty sure he was abusive, and you know. The guy wasn't uh, at all cultured in the pop sense. Pop culture. Poop culture. Current event. And so he resented him, and he was probably the blame for most of Bobby's drug addiction and alcoholism. And Bobby mentioned, I'm pretty sure he mentioned this, in a podcast before, he said, or maybe it was in the most recent podcast, him in Arizona, because he went to Arizona for the for the death of his dad, and then the crew came to his hotel, and they filmed the episode there, and it was, you know, he mentioned, he was saying, ah, this is going to be a depressive episode, but... And he's just going to go with it. And uh, he did a good job. It was a good episode. But what was I going to say? Right. He said if he was younger, he would have uh, been okay with the fact that his dad was dying because of how much he presented him. But with time, uh, they, you know, they made amends and then... Over the years, he's had to watch his dad go from this big macho mahuga of a Korean bastard to um, a useless, uh, weak individual who can't do anything for himself anymore. And so that changed Bobby's point of view of how he felt about his father, you know. A few years ago, he had a stroke, and then they were dealing with that, and you know, ever since around then, it was downhill. And so it changes a person. It changes both people. It changes everyone. And to be honest, in this... In the the episode I recorded this morning that I deleted, I explained this point better than I'm doing now. Because when I'm feeling depressed and I talk about, you know, slightly or depressing things, um, I can uh, articulate it better because I'm already in the moment feeling the negatory vibes. And they kind of help me flow with the goosh. So, you know, I guess I can't say uh, I won't do depressing podcasts. Because, you know, I'm not saying like I'm seeking out to do depressing podcasts. But, I mean, if I'm in a depressive state when I do a podcast and if it actually turns out to be good, well, then, yeah, I'm going to keep it. But if it goes the way it went this morning where the majority of it is unbearable to watch... Because it's super bland and just gloom city. I say, you know what? Throw it in the trash. You don't have to shit on it. You don't have to piss. Just get rid of it. 
I did shit on it. I did piss on it. I did puke gasoline on it. And I made fire happen in a dumpster. Turns out it was a homeless man's home. So does that really make him homeless? Well, ah, I guess not. It was a dirty man living in a dumpster. I lit his house on fire. His house was the dumpster. And, uh, you know, he came barreling over with his shopping cart full of bottles and some socks. And he said, what are you, what's going on, what am I, uh, why do I, what am I fucking doing? This is my home. And I said, what's that, fella? He said, that shit right there. And he pointed at the dumpster. And he says, that shit. That's my home, my friend. You just made a happy man with a healthy home homeless. And at first I thought, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a little smelly and his teeth are missing. I think he was homeless the whole time, but then I thought about it. Well, you know what? What does it mean to be homeless? means not having a home. This guy had a home. He lived in the dump stir. In the dumpster. Right? I just threw my I threw my podcast in his home. I shit in his living room. I pissed in his mattress. And then I puked on his cat. And then I lit the shit on fire. And you know what happened next? I said, uh, sir, what do you do when the garbage... You know, this is, this is going on way too far, but let's continue. Um, sir, what do you do when the garbage truck comes, picks your home up, dumps out all your belongings? He, you know what he does? He pulls me, he grabs me by the shoulder, and I say, don't touch me, you stink. And he says, look, just, I'm in cahoots with the garbage truck man. Turns out he's actually a woman, but he's too scared to transition. And he can't afford it. So I said, no, no, no. Then he, s- <laughs> then he said, don't tell anyone. So I said, okay, well, don't lift, lift my house up and dump my shit out. He said, deal. Then he left. So this is my shit. This is my home. And I said, well, what about the people in the in the laundromat? Don't they throw their garbage in your home? And he says, yep. But what do you get? You know, one person's trash is another man's treasure. I get all kinds of laundry. Every day. Why do you think I had socks in my shopping cart? I get all kinds of laundry. And then sometimes people throw out half-drank cappuccinos. If they don't uh, land upside down, and they still got that lid on, most of it stays in. People people don't even eat all their their food that they get ship made, ship po- posted. Po- what's that service called that brings you food? They don't even Okay, you know what? Enough. I'm rambling about nothing. I can't even back up. That's the other thing about this place. Just like the last house I lived in, the floor is on a fucking angle. So when you're in a chair that rolls around on wheels, if you just let off your feet, the whole thing will twist, you'll rotate, and then you'll start to slide away. So you got to have foundation planted at all times. I need an anchor. Who wants to be anchored in their own fucking s- 
sad excuse of a studio. I mean, come on! That story I just told could have been way better, but it was very slow and... It drug on too long. It's because I, uh... Had a little bit too much of a smoky of the marijuanas, and um, well, you s- you s- this is what you get. This is what you get. Uh, uh, uh. Have you guys seen the fucking Azamon Ran forests? Have you seen them? Tell me, tell me. Tell me you've seen them. So, why don't we open up the little Google machine here? Oh, hi, Frank. Um, oh, I didn't prepare at all. Cool. I love that. I love when you don't prepare me, Janet. Listen, you know what, Janet? I've had enough of your shit. I'm about this close. I mean it. This close from firing your stinky ass. You hear me, Janet? I'm going to fire your goddamn stinky ass. <laughs> if you don't stop with this bullshit, my boy. But holy camoles. Okay, so look at this. Are you looking? The Amazon rainforest is on fire. The goddamn rainforest, okay? Whoops. Jumping the gun here. People are coughing. Look at that. That's crazies. That's. 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 That's crazy. Okay? You got your conspiracy theorists saying the whole thing's fake. But anyway. Um, so, the Amazon rainforest supplies Earth with 20% of oxygen and is thought to be home to 30% of all species, and yet this beautiful place has been destroyed by fire that lasted 20 plus days. Smoke alone can be seen from space. People are bitching that um, the media is not covering it, which is rightfully so, you know. But they're covering it now. So, that. That whole media is not covering a thing has gone down the drain because now people know about it. Like, look at this shit. This is just like every few months. Why can't I hear it? Oh, right, because I have it switched to direct. Still can't hear it, though. Hello? I believe I can fly. Maybe there's just no sound on this. Can we test something, please? Janet, I'm so sick. Okay, here, here's what we'll watch. This thing. So this, these people, Pataxo, Pataxo, woman. She says, these assholes came in and burned down our reservation. I wanted all of the media here to see this, okay? So apparently people are deliberately starting fires in the Amazon rainforest to illegally deforest indigenous land. Oh, you know what? Am I going to get demonetized for this shit? Here's what I'll do. I'll play the video, but I won't... Oh, no. Yeah, I'll play the video, but I'll just... I'll just let you, let you listen to the audio. Hopefully that doesn't get me demonetized. If it does, I'll just know for next time that I can't do anything. Olha o que eles fizeram com a nossa reserva. Dois anos que a gente estava lutando para preservar isso aqui. E agora vem os baderneiros e fica fogo na nossa aldeia. Se não bastasse a Vale, matar nosso rio, matar o nosso esporte ponto de vida, agora vieram e puseram fogo na nossa reserva. Nós não vamos nos calar. Amanhã nós vamos But fechar. She's, she's uh, not happy. Oh, here's the translation. Uh, for two years, we fought to preserve our reservation, and these assholes came in and burned it down. They are killing our rivers, our sources of life, and now they have set our reserve on fire. 
Tomorrow we are closing the roads, and I want all the media here to see this. The Azamon fires show there can be no Green New Deal without indigenous rights. By safeguarding sovereignty over ancestral lands, which make up a quarter of the Earth's surface, we can reverse deforestation. GND is our best snot. Or <laughs> GND is our best shot at stabilizing the climate and repairing injustice. I actually thought that said snot. <laughs> then start killing ranchers. This won't stop through protest it never has this guy this guy's name is reality at reality bearing or burning so he's just laying out the facts he's just a faculty of facts i don't know sunrise movement could you imagine People just burning down an entire fucking forest of rain. It's hard to believe it's even catching on fire, though. It's so wet. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, 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 uh. It's too fucking, too fucking. Fuck you up. I'll fuck you up, boy. Again, I am filming this. Right around supper time, so my body gets like, oh, I'm hungry, fella. Give me something. Because that's right around when my depression takes a nap. It says, you know what? Feel good for now, but wait till you wake up in the morning. I'm going to punch you right in the face all day until this time of day. Yeah. <laughs> I like macaroni, but I don't like salad. Don't you hate those people? Okay, so uh, there's also one other thing about the rainforest we got to talk about. PewDiePie posted this. Please join me and donate to rainforesttrust.org, one of many great charities that secures acres of rainforest. Great. Okay, you know, I'm fine with charity. Go for it. But watch this. Click the link. Forbidden. You do not have access. You don't have permission to access it. But 403. So the website's crashed. The first time I went to it, this is what popped up. Account suspended. There's Frankie. Let me try it again. Let me try clicking this one. Nope. Not a damn, damn thing. Let me refresh Felix. Pew duck pie. Eh. Wow. 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 Uh, just a quick little recommendation. Um, if you're a fan of the Joe Rogan podcast, I suggest you go watch the Everlast episode that was just uploaded for me today. For you, I don't know when. He plays some of his new music, and there's this one section in there where they talk about, they start talking about, uh, uh, like dimensions, you know, like the typical Joe Rogan talk always leads to some sort of theory or m on something. But Joe, fuck me, fucking yawning. Joe talks about how he had this idea about going to sleep. Every time you go to sleep, when you wake up, you're you wake up in a nearby universe. And everything's just slightly different. And it all depends on the decisions you make during the day. You go to sleep, wake up foggy in a new dimension. I don't know. 
It was very interesting. Uh, I suggest you smoke a little reef keef, sneef sneakers, smoke some sneakers, um, and then watch it. You'll have a good time. And since we can't do Reddit, um, with that being said, that is it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, episode 107. Uh, please like, please comment, subscribe, hit, smash, fuck, bang, banoozle that bell notification if you want. Don't have to. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Just as my great great uncle Gerd Landimus. He knows all about whether you can't or do whatever you done did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>wonder why he hasn't died yet though you know like one of these days and how often do you see an old crusty curmudgeon old piece of shit I shouldn't be saying